Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to do a time-lapse video using Corel Video Studio. You can go ahead and open up the application on your desktop if you have an icon there, or you would go to the Start menu in the bottom left corner and type in Corel Video. And there you have it. You will go ahead and choose Capture, and then you're going to choose Live Screen Capture, and when you're ready, you click on the red button. You want to go ahead and have whatever application you're going to do the time-lapse video open. So for example, if you're going to do something in Minecraft, you'd go ahead and open up Minecraft and get it ready. You want to go ahead and open up the application that you're going to be recording for this project. So for example, if you open up Photoshop, you're ready to go. And then you would hit the record button. The minute you hit the record button, you want to start working on the computer. It's now recording. So you would just go ahead and do your thing on the computer and record every single step that you do. Once you're done recording, you go down and you open this up and you choose the stop option. If you ever want to pause, you would click on the F11 key of the keyboard. So I'm going to stop for now. Your screen capture is complete. It's going to be in the Video Studio Library. I'm going to close this down and this is the software we're going to be using to do the time-lapse video. Now keep in mind I was just doing a demo for Photoshop. However, I had a student who made a video in Minecraft which is incredibly popular in my classroom. So the demo is going to be for Minecraft. You're going to want to get music for this project. So you're going to go ahead and go to the public drive, go into computer class, go into the free music and start listening to these songs to see what you want. When you find a song you like, you right click on it and choose copy. Go to your desktop. I'm going to create a folder by right clicking and choosing new folder and I'm going to call it time lapse videos. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to right click and choose paste. I now have a song for my project. I'm going to go ahead and open up the software and I'm going to choose edit. I'm going to open up the folder and get all the items I need for this project. Now after recording your video it's going to end up on this PC in documents in Corel Video Studio and then X10. So here are the videos. There's three. I'm going to hold the control key and select all three videos and choose open. I'm now going to go ahead and go to that folder again Go to my desktop and get to that folder called Time Lapse Videos and open up the music because I need music and I need video. You go ahead and scroll down, scroll down, and if your media is not there, click on this icon, Show Videos, and then scroll down. Before I add my video, I'm going to go ahead and add a title. So I'll click on the T and I'm going to choose one of these titles. So I like this one, so I will right click and I will choose Insert to Overlay Track 1. You can go ahead and double click in there and then double click in here to add your title. And I'm going to select that text because I want to change the font to something a little more interesting. I'm going to make it bigger by changing the font size here. You can actually type it in as well and hit Enter. Now when you click on it, you can drag it. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put my name, Chris, and Connor because Connor was a student who helped me out. And you can change that font as well. It's nice to have a little contrast going on here. And I'll click on here and I'll line it up and I'll play it so you can see what's going on. I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the media icon and then I'm going to click on this icon and it says hide videos so that means I should be able to see my videos. I'm only going to add one at a time so I'll choose capture one, right click, insert to overlay track one. I'm going to right click here on this video because it's way too small and choose fit to screen. I'm then going to right click on the timeline right here and I'm going to choose mute 
because I don't want audio. I'm also going to right click and I'm going to choose speed time lapse. I'm going to drag it as fast as possible and click OK. And now it's going to be really fast. If I hit the play button, it might be a bit glitchy, but when you render it as a movie, it goes much quicker. Do keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and show you this beginning part here is all garbage. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get it on the timeline where I want it to start. I will click on that video. I will choose the scissors. I will select the part I want to delete and hit the delete key of the keyboard. And then I will drag it to the beginning before the title. Now if you need to move in, zoom out or zoom in, here's where you would do it on this scale. I'm going to go to the end of the timeline and I'm going to go up to my videos and add Capture 2. I will right click Insert 2, Overlay Track 1. I will right click on it, Fit to Screen. I will right click on it, I will Mute, and I will also right click and choose Time Lapse and change it to Fast and OK. So I have one more video I'm going to add. I will right click, Insert 2, Overlay Track 1. I will right click up here, I will choose Fit to Screen. I will right click and choose mute. I will also right click and I will choose speed time lapse and we'll bring it as fast as possible and click OK. And I forgot to do something really important. I needed to do file save as. I'm going to go to that desktop folder called time lapse and I'm going to call it time lapse video. Actually I'm going to call it Minecraft because I might do other time lapse videos. If I do more than one Minecraft, I'll call this Minecraft 1. The next one would be Minecraft 2 and so forth. I'll call this Minecraft 1 and save. I'm now going to go up to the top and you can see there's the song called Trapped. That's in my media. I'm going to right click and choose Insert 2 and then Music Track 1. Now you might have to click on this icon so you can see the video and hear the music and hit play. You're going to want to go ahead and scroll down to the end of the video and notice the music is going way past the video. So click down on that sound, click on the scissors, select the extra music and hit the delete key of the keyboard. I'm then going to right click on the music, choose fade in and right click and choose fade out. I'm going to watch it to make sure I'm happy. If I'm not, you saw earlier how to delete video that you don't want. Once you're ready, make sure you do save it. And now I'm going to choose Share. I'm going to choose the MPEG-4. I'm going to click on this file location. I'm going to click on that folder. Browse for that time-lapse video to stay organized. And go ahead and choose Save and then Start. This concludes the session on how to make a time-lapse video using Corel Video Studio X10. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.